to the Insiders HQ. We'll be your insiders to the outsiders. Tonight, we will be following a very unusual news story. Last night, two juvenile delinquents turned into heroes. In Windricksville, a church caught fire with a bunch of people from school trapped inside. Johnny Cade, which is 16, and Ponyboy Curtis, which is currently 14, ran into the church to save the kids and risk their own lives. Let's go to Rawa, who is in the hospital with the boys. Thanks, Jessica. Here I am today with one out of the three courageous boys who turned heroes overnight, Pony Boy Curtis. Also with us is Jerry Wood, a teacher and a mentor who tried to go with the boys. Thanks for having me here, but I shouldn't be getting any of the attention. This young boy here is fearless and saved lives today. He should be the one you're focusing on. Hi. Pony, was there any fear going into the burning church? None at all. It was just a quick reaction. I was, it was actually pretty fun. It gave us both a rush. Is there any word on how your friends are doing? No, not yet. The nurse won't tell us anything, but I'm sweating just thinking about them. My last question is for you, Jerry. Is there anything you would like to say to the people about these boys? I would just like to say that they have probably made some mistakes that they regret, but they should not be judged by that. They are true heroes. Thanks, and good luck with your friends. Thank you. Back to Joelle and Jessica. Now my great friend Jessica here has to take a bathroom break. Let's get down to the news. Very brave of those two young boys, Rawa. I think they should all teach us a lesson about how to not judge a book by its cover. Now we will be interviewing Dallas Winston, a friend of the two boys, who was also present at the fire. Now, remember that Dali is injured and currently in the hospital. Let's go to Rawa for the details. So, Dallas, how are you doing? Is there any regrets that have gotten you here today? I mean, I've been in this position before, but I would do anything for my brothers, especially Johnny. If those darn kids hadn't gotten in the way, he would have had a heck of a lot more chance of living. Yes, yes, it's horrible. It's horrible position that he's in. Now we hear rumors going around that you slapped Ponyboy in the back so hard he got knocked out. Is that well, true? Well, you know, I am a greaser, so I probably could have been a little more gentle, but with these pipes, anything can happen. Why did you send those boys out of the church in the first place? I mean, wouldn't it have been easier if they would just turn to the fuzz in the first place? I'd rather not say why I sent them there, but I know it's a really good spot to just um, get your anger out and just... I knew it was exactly what Johnny and Ponyboy needed. I feel terrible. Your friends? About your friends. I thank the people like you being so brave and selfless. Wish you the best and hope you get some more life-saving actions out there soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Boy, that Dallas Winston sure is a hunk. Thanks for that. All of you kids out there should learn from him. Our next couple of interviews will probably be the toughest. We will be interviewing Johnny Cade's mother, Abdurawa. Jessica, here we are with Mrs. Cade. What was your first reaction when you heard that Johnny was being hunted by the police? Do you think I cared? My husband and I got a week alone with that little brat always being in our way. Is that the, really the way you should be treating your son that's in critical condition? Does critical mean he might die? Have you seen Johnny since the fire? No, because the nurses don't think it's healthy for me to see my own son. That is all he needs right now. A mother's love. We have a bit more time, but I'm going to cut this interview short. Thanks for coming. Back to Jessica. Well, that is just a heartbreaking situation right there. When a son needs his mother the most, they just aren't there. Let's go to Johnny and see what he has to say. Hi, Johnny. Hi. How are you feeling? Terrible, as you can tell. I can barely talk. 
We won't keep you long. How do you feel that everyone knows you're a hero? Isn't that pretty cool? Yeah, I guess. But I wish my friends were with me. Last question. Do you wish your mom was here? <coughs> out! Out! Everybody out! He's not doing well! <coughs> Back to do well. Like she said, everyone pray for... Everybody pray for this young man. Thanks, Raul. Like she said, everyone pray for this young man. We will keep you updated on this story. See you next time on Insider's Headquarters.